Monsters Movies and Mayhem She told me to turn it off because she could not handle all the fake vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a trigger for her. So hey, do you ever did you ever see that sh that cartoon Super Jail? Yeah. So uh, you remember Adult Swim had those like little uh, black uh, title screens where they would ask questions. Yeah. Someone had emailed them a question: Who has more uh, of a higher kill count, Super Jail or Metalocalypse? Who that do you think won? A... It's oh. tight. It was really close. I'm gonna say Metalocalypse because mm -hmm. they summon a giant troll and that killed right. a lot of people. Yeah. The uh, the death harmonic episode. They right. killed a bunch of people there. Mm -hmm. They killed a lot of people when they released the feral cats. I think. I think it was animals in general because yeah. they were neutering them. <laughs> the son they adopt and they <laughs> neuter. <laughs> and anytime he like he showed up on the screen, he was just making pig noises. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, Super Jail won. No way. Super Jail had a way higher kill count. No way. Yeah. Oh, not way higher, but it was, it was higher. Oh man. It's because a lot of the, the the deaths in Metalocalypse, um, they didn't actually die. They came back later with really fucked up surgery, like on their faces, on their arms. Someone didn't get their arms back. They just had an amputated. Yeah. You know, they're just crippled. Yeah, they're just crippled, which is worse <laughs> <laughs> when they come back like that. Yeah. In Super Joel, everyone died terribly. Like, you're oh, not coming man. back from getting your body split in half. Welcome to another installment of the Monsters, <laughs> Movies, and Mayhem podcast. We're your hosts, Brian, Final Man, Hidalgo. And Murderface. Murderface, Murderface, Murderface. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to, De to Death Clock. <laughs> what do you give someone who hates everything? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> Murderface was great. He's, Murderface he's is that show, honestly. Well, they're all. They all show. are. Yeah. They're all so great. Toki, Pickles, to Squiscar, yeah. Nathan. Murderface. Murderface. Yeah. My favorite character is definitely Roxo. <laughs> the rock and roll clown. <laughs> he what does he love? Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta review that show. Oh, man oh you know what we could do what like uh like our favorite kills from that show there you they're go very creative yep great it's all it's all cartoons there's all mate right. that that could be me may that's mayhem there it is there you go back at it again mm -hmm. we have a similar mayhem list right now yep tonight tonight's episode is another special one uh we're doing another tier list we're calling the final list final list that's right. Now, what does this list uh, entail? Uh, so this is a list of all the final people in movies. Now, when you say final people, is it because they were the last people standing? Or is it because they were survivalists? What, uh, what's our criteria for this list? Uh, so to be on the list, you have to have survived the movie. That's right. Um, so that includes boys, girls... Um, you know, kids, adults, kids, adults, yeah. was, was ever last standing. Yeah. I or mean, just escaped. I mean, we could do another tier list on just, uh, uh, horror movie pets. Yeah. That made it. That's right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. So anybody, anybody that survived their encounter with, with, um, uh, whatever entity was after them. And it's funny that we're doing this list, uh, Almost right after we did our slasher list. Yeah. Because maybe. there's going to be a lot of counter characters to our previous slasher list, which was uh, a great video that yeah. we did. That was a lot of fun picking our favorite slashers. Exactly. So, yeah. So a, a lot of them are going to be counterparts. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. I, I don't know if you want to get into it. Yes. All right. So... Here we have our our top picks for our, our uh, survive or for our final lists. It's thirty four, uh, a whopping thirty four <laughs> picks from a from a whole. There's a lot of survivors. 
yeah so there there's definitely you know we 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 went through the internet that we did and uh we picked 34 i mean there was a ton more oh uh, yeah you know so we're definitely gonna have to re uh re um revisit this this topic again that's right and do a part two part two and uh so yeah i mean these were i mean we got a lot of heavy hitters here yeah we got some classics we got some icons we got some uh some newbies some newbies we got someone that were just in in a in a one hit quit movie somewhere from a series of movies but we yeah. got yeah franchise survivalists that's right and we have uh single movie finalists you, you know we have a whole spectrum of of, of finalists and finalists and our first finalist that we're going to start with is sally from the original texas chainsaw massacre if there's a finalist out there that has been through a lot it's, that it's po- her that poor girl is going to need some serious therapy <laughs> especially in the 70s imagine therapy getting therapy in the 70s oh i'm i'm pretty sure she just got lobotomized or something <laughs> <laughs> um yeah how do you explain that to your therapist yeah some six some six and a half foot man in a chain with a chainsaw killed all my friends killed all my friends and nearly killed me mm-hmm. and and their grandpa sucked on my finger and there was a family of cannibals just like eating you know the grossest things you can think of like it, oh man that poor girl went through hell but d-list no just no no. <laughs> no she went through hell and made it out mm-hmm. but she was only in one of them that's right so you know i think if you're only going to be in one Mm -hmm. you better have a lasting um impression impression now here's a a little counter to that if you're only in one it's because you're that damn good if you're in multiple movies where you're being (laughs) chased 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 again (laughs) by the same person (laughs) you suck you're asking for it at this point. Mm. If you get away the first time and that's it, you're Your victim blaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey. She was asking for it. Look hey, what she was she, wearing. <laughs> but, she, but if you if you're in her scenario and you made it out, you're top tier. You're you're home free. I oh man, see, because we're we're judging it on the 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 finalist and not the movie in general. You know what? You know what I mean? No, explain it. So, I mean, Texas Chainsaw Massacre itself would be high. But a finalist to me, she can be a little forgettable. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, is she forgettable because she was only in one movie? Yeah. But doesn't that mean that if you're in one movie and you escape, that you're top tier? That's true. <laughs> um, actually, she's, that's, you know what? You're 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 turning me around on this because you know that scene when she's laughing mm-hmm. like getting away and she's just covered in blood and driving away and he's like like he looks like he's having a ball just swinging his chainsaw in the around middle of the road just in dancing the, around yeah exactly uh that's an excellent scene very good um and she did go through hell and she made it out and yeah you're you're probably right um I don't know if I would consider S though. Oh, well, I was about to turn the other way and be like, but then again, she's not exactly top tier no. <laughs> because <laughs> a, you got to be extremely like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, cause I mean, if you, have, he, you have to be extremely charis- charismatic. Yeah. I was going to say, even if, if you, your argument is if you get away the first time mm-hmm. you're top tier, right? But there's scenarios where these people keep coming back and they keep surviving. They have the knowledge to keep surviving. Sometimes it's different Mm -hmm. and they still make it through. That's right. So, I mean, she only faced off once. Right. And it was the same people. So I'm, I'm going to say she's probably an A. It's funny. You put, you put her in A because you also put Leatherface in A. I did. Right. (laughs) Oh, wow. What do you have against the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? (laughs) <laughs> I, I have nothing against the texas chainsaw massacre mm-hmm. it's an excellent movie 
it's just not my, one of my favorites right you know yeah but i mean once they remake it twice yeah and then add sequels to the remakes you know it's just a cash cow at this point yeah the original was great yeah it's, it's yeah it's getting those uh it's kind of going towards the same route that halloween went towards hey i will not have you besmirching the good name of halloween on this podcast i'll do it all day all right so sally from texas chainsaw you want to put her in a she's going in a our first pick now for our second pick we are going with ash oh. from the evil dead s s right s. away s for s smart shop smart <laughs> yeah. shop s, s smart. smart there's no oh man okay so tell me why s why s oh wow uh his his hold on hold on hold on real quick i just want to give a quick shout out to our buddy sterling for gifting us something for the podcast oh speaking of evil dead let me go into my witch's closet let me see if the camera can pick this up now what you're looking at here isn't a bunch of toothpicks in a little jar these are actual pieces from the log cabin from evil dead 2 i mean i'm assuming it's the same log cabin in both right yes but uh yeah the actual what's left i mean there's a what there's the, another left now nothing nope the chimney's gone now too oh yeah maybe the chimney but uh yeah these are pieces uh of the of the log cabin this is our uh our good luck charm our That's little right. totem yeah it's blessing this uh, it. <laughs> it's blessing this podcast yeah so with, uh, uh bruce campbell and his grooviness yep so i met i met bruce campbell and lucky, i had him uh lucky bastard <laughs> I, I had him sign uh a necronomicon your face that i made yeah <laughs> and uh while he was signing it for me i asked him i was like what's the like the craziest thing a fan has ever brought you and he's like i i know one he's like i know it and it's, it's it's been stuck with him forever it was pieces of the cabin from the evil dead that people have gone out there taken pieces of it and had him sign it not sign like the pieces yeah but like you know they'll show it to him and and he'll that's what they, they showed it to him he said that's the craziest thing because there's like a lot of like rednecks out there that are like they'll shoot on sight anyone that goes to those to the that through those woods into the cabin and it's become a real problem like tons of people have gotten out there to just take more and more pieces from that cabin because it's horror memorabilia yeah you know and to take it apart and i'm guessing they're just selling it right now but uh he said that's the craziest thing and now there's like nothing left but a but a chimney but we got we got a piece we got a piece we got a piece of horror history and with um, the cabin in the woods um but yeah why why is ash considered s tier um i mean he's kind of i'll be let's be honest he's kind of bumbled his way through surviving yeah you know but we're talking evil dead one or evil dead two a little bit of both mm -hmm. he kind of bumbles his way through um but he's definitely an improviser in my opinion um he improvised that chainsaw arm yeah exactly well. um you know he he should be an engineer instead of uh, uh working at like a kmart <laughs> um but uh yeah and and you know he always gets the girl and then right. loses the girl mm -hmm. but then gets another one that's right um he has the best like one-liners uh and that chin, man. Chiseled. Chiseled. Like that perfect, like it's almost like 90 degree angles on both sides. Like, yeah, that marble chin. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's definitely S tier. S tier. Let um, me tell you why he's not an S tier. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's see. Just to play devil's advocate. All right. Have you seen Ash versus the Evil Dead? I did not finish it. Ooh. Ooh. That show has been on the brink of being canceled. It's almost canceled after every episode 
until it got canceled. Yes. <laughs> you can only ride those coattails so far. And he wrote it for like 50 years. <laughs> uh, they got into the point where it now is just Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. And they're like, we're too old for this, but there's clearly an audience for it. What can we do to just get these paychecks? <laughs> Let's make Evil Dead again, the remake, but have young people do it. We'll have a new director who's energetic and gun ho ready to make a career starting with Evil Dead. And then they did it again with Evil Dead Rise. Did you see Evil Dead Rise? I have not. I haven't seen it either. But I heard it's not doing well. Really? I heard it was pretty good. I heard it was basically Evil Dead 2013 in an apartment. More of the same? More of the same. Evil Dead 1 and Evil Dead 2 are basically the same movie. Yeah. The only one that was like really out there was Army of Darkness. Darkness. Yeah. And that was way out there. Yeah. I mean, dancing, not dancing, fighting skeletons. Yeah, especially the one where it looks like a fake skeleton you get at Party City when they just throw it at him. Yeah. But this list is not a quality of the movies. And it's we're a not quality of... The character. Uh-huh. And the character and is character what not... you said, a bumbling man <laughs> barely surviving. But does character not count for anything? You tell me. You, you okay. said he was bumbling. Yeah, he is a bumbling, you know. He comes. He tries to come off as badass, but sometimes it's a little cringy. But it's still, he's still super fucking cool. I can't believe you said that about Bruce Campbell and Evil Dead. <sighs> he's top tier. He's S tier. He is definitely S tier. Of course he is. It's Bruce Campbell and Evil Dead. Why he's, wouldn't he be? He's S tier, but yeah, he's still kind of. <laughs> come on, he. <laughs> I'm just playing devil's advocate. He's, I gotta, he, I gotta be opposite of some of the stuff. Yeah, he. I mean, he did definitely bumble his way through, but <laughs> it's. <laughs> He still stuck the landing, though. Oh yeah, you know. I mean, at the I, who who else could just fight all those uh, deadites on your own, knowing no one's gonna help you or save you? All your girlfriend's dead. She's dancing naked in the forest, headless. You know, you have you're losing Damn. your mind because you see everything in the cabin start to laugh at you. That you start to laugh at yourself. You have to fight off your own hand. You get sucked through a portal and have to fight. 16th century evil i <laughs> i think you're describing my last trip on shrooms brian's a shroom trip tier list <laughs> <laughs> all right top shrooms. so let's uh let's move on to our next uh finalist finalist and this what this pick I, is I don't think i hear finalist is a pretty big finalist because man she's quite the character and that's Ripley from Alien. Man, this is another tough one. Um, I think she's S. Now, when we made <laughs> this list, we had a big problem. Too many S's. Too many S's. And this is another one. It's yeah. our third one, and she's already taken the second spot. Yeah. Um, the now, tell me why it should be her and not anyone else. Man. She has taken on a race of aliens multiple times and come out on top. That's right. Um, she also, I mean, there is that one movie where she didn't make it. Oh, that's right. Number three. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give her to her anyways, because that was kind of a, like a, like a, a Jesus moment. Right. Like a sacrifice, a sacrifice mm -hmm. herself in order to to make sure that these creatures get eradicated now when um when we were making this list and ripley came up it was almost like a oh yeah ripley how could we how could we forget about her because, she was kind of on the back burner because this is a horror cast in those movies. Some of those movies kind of borderline action movies. Mm -hmm. You got to admit it. After the first one, they start to become more action. Yeah. N number two was an action movie. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like Marines in space. Yeah. Fighting. It was bugs. half the cast of Terminator 2. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And ha the cast of Near Dark. That's right. Um, But yeah, so that's that's why we kind of like. It's one of those where does she belong on this list or doesn't she? But you know, if we put her on the list, then our our another future finalist 
also deserves to be on that. And you're putting her on S tier? I'm definitely going to put her S tier. Over um, uh, Sally from uh, Texas Chainsaw? I think we put Sally in A. Yeah. But she's definitely. Oh, yeah. She's over, definitely. Over Sally. Yeah. I'm yeah. just mentioning Sally because Sally's our only A. And Ash is, of course, going to stay in S. So I can't really compare mm -mm. Ripley and Ash together. So I have to compare her with Sally. If I'm going to compare Ripley and, and, and Ash, I believe Ripley is a little more capable. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. If she was in the cabin in the woods, there would be no Evil Dead 2. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like she, she just is a badass mm -hmm. through and through. Um, she's probably one of the best surrogate mothers. Get away from her, you bitch. Yeah, exactly. So like, you know, she tapped into that mommy rage. Pretty quick too. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, she's definitely S tier. Um, is she behind her or in front of Ash though? We'll rearrange those later. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that point later. Now our next pick, Jess from Black Christmas. You haven't seen Black Christmas? Since. No, no. I I haven't. Well, I've seen bits and pieces. I kind of know of it. It's, but, like, if you showed me a picture of her, I would not recognize her or the movie. I'd she doesn't do like, much. She, um, I'd I'd be like, okay, she's just a teen from like. She, she looks like she could be in any of the Halloweens as a victim. Yeah. So, I mean... I mean, to be honest, I can barely remember her in Black Christmas. Be I'm, only because Billy really stole the show. So I'm thinking C, maybe D? I think we should put her in D. Okay. Well, we might change our mind about it later, but that'll be for later. Okay. So, go into our next pick. I know the picture is the three of them, <laughs> the but it's definitely just going to be Andy. Yeah, because I Play. mean, he's the only one that actually goes on and yeah, re he's a reoccurring character. That's right. Um, you know, there was two movies he wasn't in, but <laughs> then he comes back in the show. Oh yeah. Um, as a badass. Oh hell, he's been assassinating. Yeah, all he, these other Chuckies. Yeah, exactly. So he becomes like a a doll hunting killing machine, but before that, even as a child, he was pretty capable. Like with like barely any like tools or anything like that he was able to take on Chuck. i mean when i saw child's play one and i saw andy taking the bus on his own <laughs> well he in was, his winter clothes he he had someone telling him how to take the bus mm -hmm. whispering in his ear and i bet like telling him how to which bus to take and get off but you, you can also just be like no <laughs> my mom will yell at me <laughs> you also see a lot of those kids yeah but he he, he didn't know any better at that point mm -hmm. you know chucky hadn't shown his true intentions yet but you know so you're saying as long as there's a talking doll kids will do whatever they say oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um that's i mean that's how marketing works how does the marketing work like that <laughs> <laughs> whenever there's a talking toy on the screen kids uh -huh. want to buy it immediately or you know or it could be a talking popsicle and kids will want it. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah. So Andy's just a dumbass kid <laughs> with just a doll telling him what to do. <laughs> but he's able to defeat the doll uh -huh. multiple times. Uh ooh. But where on the list would he go? That's a good question. Multiple movies. Multiple movies. Later on as an adult, he starts to kill Chucky's left and right. But is he S tier? I don't think so. Hmm. Movie wise, S tier. Or see, this is where where we go. Uh, you know, his counterpart Chucky was yeah. S tier, but Andy himself, I'm gonna go A. Yeah. A tier. A tier. Yeah. Well, I have no rebuttal against that because that was in the same boat. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely gonna put him over here. No. Our next pick, Ashley from Hellraiser. Do you oh. remember Ashley from Hellraiser? I do. So Ashley is, uh, she's probably the only character that is actually catching on to what's going on. Yeah. Because just a whole bunch of men show up <laughs> to because that woman is luring them in yeah. to sacrifice them. And she's the only one that catches on. Yeah. Like no, no cops show up. Well, because men are dumb. 
and women and, aren't no so this is the final girl list now yeah <laughs> <laughs> like let's uh, throw all the guys off this list <laughs> i mean she uh she was immune to uh to her stepmom's feminine um what's the word her feminine charms sure like she saw straight through her her mm -hmm. her facade like and she knew that that she was evil well plus she also saw that bleeding muscular <laughs> body you know just writing help me yeah <laughs> on it, the wall and she was like this ain't right yeah exactly so um but yeah and then she she's been in multiple movies mm -hmm. i mean she escaped what hell well i think she used the cube to call hellraiser to take away the the dad from the first one yeah mm -hmm. um but she i mean she was able to go to their their um world mm -hmm. or dimension or wherever they're from and actually get back successfully you know so you know it's kind of making sally seem less and less great yeah <laughs> I, i'm telling you like sally you know it's just a family of cannibals this girl fought demons Cenobites. like pleasure pain demons mm -hmm. weird bondage demons mm -hmm my kind of demons yeah so i i'm gonna put her i'm put her an a tier wow what was her name again sally yeah it's not sally no it isn't <laughs> what is it it's uh ashley ashley yeah oh man now that i forgot her name maybe she's b tier <laughs> but you didn't forget sally's name from texas chainsaw <laughs> <laughs> uh ashley our first b okay now moving on to a very famous finalist, Clarice. <laughs> um, oh, what can I say about Clarice? Um, I mean, she's in Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal. And Hannibal, not by the same actress though. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I mean, she's intelligent. She's what FBI or CIA? FBI. FBI. She got an Oscar, I think she got an oscar for the performance um you know she was genius she was a genius and she would match wits with hannibal mm -hmm. and i think we put hannibal pretty high up there too right mm -hmm. so you know in order to to match wits with a master manipulator mm -hmm. like uh hannibal you got to be up there you got to be capable you got to be very capable um I would imagine if we had Clarice in any of the scenarios that S tier candidates were in. I mean, how would she fare off in those situations? You know, she's got uh, combat training because she's an FBI. She so she's she got be, weapons training. She can be helping Ripley. Yeah, she's got uh, you know a slasher. She can profile them. Yeah, um, she can definitely figure out the Necronomicon pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't forget mm -hmm. the three words. That... <laughs> Clatu. Hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, I forgot him. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely wouldn't would be able to handle a, a killer doll. Yeah. Um, but is she S tier though? That That's is a good question. Oh man, like, is she iconic enough to to be up in that rank? Right. Now, I when we were thinking about our list, Clarice was one of the first ones that popped up into my head. Oh man. Had it, oh. We had to think. And about you always some of the other you ones. remember her name. Yeah, it's, it's like you can't forget her name. Yeah, Clarice and Hannibal. Yeah, Cl Clarice and Hannibal. It's like like a couple. Like, yeah, like everyone ships those two. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> In my weird fan fiction. Nice. Uh, oh, man, is she S tier? I'm gonna say A tier. High A. Yeah. She's definitely in the A team. Now moving on to another uh... boy. <laughs> <laughs> another boy. <laughs> yeah. Another boy. We have Danny from The Shining. Memorable kid. Memorable. Memorable name. Memorable scenes. Memorable movie. But was he as capable as Andy? He basically just survived. 
he basically he yeah basically he just ran away until he was his dad died yeah on his own and he did have tony helping him yeah if, by telling him what to do yeah uh yeah if he didn't have superpowers he'd be he'd be screwed yeah um i'm going oh man this worst part is that that movie is so good well it's not good for danny so we're putting not. him in D for Danny. Uh, I would say C. <laughs> you want to say C? I want to say C. Now, He's not why is he awful. better than uh, the girl from Black Christmas? Because you remember him. Yeah. You remember his name. You remember specific scenes. That's you remember true. the Red Rum, Red Rum. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't remember anything from Black Christmas besides right. like that. Because you didn't see it. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of it. But. So why is he C and not in B with uh, Ashley? Because he's a little kid. He's not that capable. If his mom wasn't there just because he has superpowers doesn't mean he would have lived. That's true. You know? His, his dad was distracted between him and his mom. Yeah. And the lady in the bathtub. And, yeah. And the bear. <laughs> right. So, yeah. He's he's C. I don't think he would be D. C? Yeah. For Andy. Two Andys on our list. First. Oh, wait. No. That was uh, Danny. Danny. Yeah. C for, C for Danny. Um, now our... Our next pick. <laughs> I can't believe you picked the picture. <laughs> the this. picture of the awful bangs. Yeah. We have uh, Gail from Scream. Gail Weather. Oh. Gail Weather. Just lo- lodge it, you know? Uh, Gail Weathers from Scream. Mm-hmm. Uh, those bangs are definitely D tier. <laughs> but as, uh, as a finalist, was she ever like super in danger like they weren't really after her right she put herself in that position yeah by being an an investigative journalist Mm -hmm. um so you know at any point in the series the franchise she could have just left (laughs) you know like any other reporter yeah exactly just uh i'm gonna head out for a bit yeah exactly but she chose to be in those situations um i mean she's capable you know, she learns a thing or two about like um, guns and stuff like that. She can take a punch. Mm-hmm. You know, she's been punched multiple times. Oh yeah. Um, but but where are we putting her? Oh, she is definitely like B. B. Yeah. Probably after Ashley. Yeah. Right there. I can. Yeah. So now we're going with her partner. Who? Dewey. Dewey Weathers. Uh, <laughs> you think he took her last name when they got married? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's he's definitely a bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know who wears the pants in that relationship. Oh yeah, business pants. Uh, but see, I like Dewey a lot better. Why? Because he's more sympathetic. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's, a finalist should be. Yeah, he's not. He's not sitting there trying to chase fame like like Gail. Right. With you her know. Book. Yeah. Like Gail's there on her own terms because she wants to the scoop yeah dewey's there to prevent people from dying Mm -hmm. half the time so that's kind of why they're a good pairing they're like counterbalance right so you know couples a little weird because they balance each other out um you know i think she dewey definitely helped gail um learn empathy and stuff like that but as a as a as finalist, man, he gets stabbed multiple times. He kind of bumbles. At. Yeah, he kind of bumbles his way through too. Also, he's S with with the Ash. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not S. Uh, I think Ash is more capable bumbling. Mm-hmm. Dewey is kind of like bumbling, bumbling. Yeah. Um, but he's lovable. Um, but I think he's also B. I don't think. But he's higher than Gale. Higher than Gale? Yeah. All right. Right here. What do you think? That's a good point. I, I was going to put them together because they're kind of one yeah, character. Th- yeah. So moving on to our other uh, Ash-like, not exactly bumbling through <laughs> the end, but uh, she's also another star of Evil Dead. We have um, Mia. Oh, now Mia was also possessed by a dead eye. Yeah, making so, her like the main villain. Yeah, I was gonna say she's definitely one of those where 
she can be on two different lists. Mm-hmm. She can be a finalist and she can be a villain because mm-hmm. she was a pretty messed up uh, deadite. Yeah. Um, but that end when she, you know, doesn't when she comes back out of it and she gets the chainsaw and pretty much kills that that thing that came out. Yeah. Um, that was pretty badass. Yeah. You know, it's just raining blood on her. She's just covered just head to toe in blood it's an iconic scene very good but you know she other people had to do the work up to that point yeah she's only a finalist till the last like 10 minutes of the movie right 10 15 minutes um i I don't know what i don't know this one's a tough one see for me when I think about Mia, I just think about how she was trying to warn everybody about what's going on in the woods, but everyone was so sure that this is just your crack, <laughs> your cracked out mind playing tricks on you like the last time we did this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> you, you think her last, uh, her last, uh, uh, what's the word? relapse relapse <laughs> she had like a, a delu- uh, like a delusion where everyone was turning into demons and stuff yes <laughs> <laughs> the other people were very convincing about it because they were all saying that we did this exact same thing last year <laughs> last time you even said you were raped by trees too <laughs> like this is exactly the mm-hmm. same yeah but she was warning everybody yeah about what was going on and then everyone started to lose it because they started to get infected by the dead eye curse and uh she did it she was the only one to to survive out of uh, everyone else also being possessed yeah i mean her her brother helped her get to that point though Mm -hmm. like i said she a lot of other people did more work one the, one more per, one person well the guy with the glasses did some too well he summoned the dead yeah, eyes. he's kind of a dumbass so yeah he, he, you, you he don't unwrap count. a book with barbed wire wrapped around it yeah if something's wrapped in barbed wire and has like a lock on it don't open it yeah if it's written in blood saying do not say these words don't open you it. say them you're you're not helping nope the girl that was the nurse that was so sure that she's crazy not helping yeah you didn't help the the girl that immediately got her hand possessed and used the thanksgiving cutter on the 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 turkey the turkey uh, carver carver, yeah not helping no um it was definitely just her brother just her brother um but yeah like i said she was a bad guy most of that movie Mm -hmm. so i I don't know where you where do you want to put her a Why not? Like I said, she was a bad guy for most of it. Uh huh. What did she do as a bad guy? Possessed other people. No. Get locked up. No, that guy did. The guy with the book. Oh yeah. She. The only thing she did was get locked up. Yeah. I'll let you have this one. You're gonna let me have it. Yeah. Where would you put her? I was gonna say high B. What above, uh, Ashley? Yeah. Why is that? Because, oh, man, Remind in between me. the the weathers, <laughs> she's definitely above uh, Ashley. Right uh, yeah. So, Sally above Mia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sally, because that I, that scene is more. Does, I mean, they does both... Sally help anybody? She helps herself. Mia helped herself. She had <laughs> someone help her help uh-huh. herself. Nobody helped Sally. Nobody. She was on her own. Yep. All her friends died before yeah. she <laughs> she could even. They escape. weren't much help. <laughs> no. Um. But Mia had her her brother. Right. And uh, yeah, he. I mean, he did a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was it was kind of a, a what is the term bait and switch kind of thing because the yeah. whole time you thought he was going to be the the uh, protagonist, the final boy, and then 
you know, towards the end, they kind of do a switch and JK, the person who was uh, possessed most of the movie is the hero at the end. Yeah. She so. fights her own demon. Yeah. She, she succumbs, you know, Yep. to all the kind of a rise to power thing. Yep. But, uh, yeah, but yeah she sucks. No, she does not <laughs> suck. She just, I don't think she's that great. I, I, iconic, if that makes sense. Uh huh. So, I mean, that's why I would put her in B and not A. Yeah. You know. That's a good one. I'll okay. Put her in B. Yeah. High B. High B. So next on our list is uh is someone else who uh who who really survived with uh, other people's help, Brody from Jaws. Brody did not need to be on that boat. No. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Brody He's a definitely land cop. put himself in <laughs> in the situation he was in. Yeah, I mean the second the second movie I can see more reason for him to go out into the into the water because yeah. his own kids were out there. First one, he could have just called animal control. Yeah, I mean it's not like he was he, was he uh he wasn't coast guard or anything. No. like that. he was just the sheriff of, yeah. of the town. He could have delegated someone else to go out there and hunt the shark, but he chose to put himself in the line of fire or That's right. duty. You know, um. A real hero. A real hero. Also terrified of water, though. Mm -hmm. So, man. Here's the swimmer with bow-legged woman. <laughs> uh, but where would we put him? Because how, how dangerous is a shark? This shark? Very dangerous. This, this shark? Very dangerous. This shark was huge. And it was in, like, shallow water now sorry how would brody fare up against like demons or and aliens and aliens and four foot tall dolls i think he'd have a good chance against a four foot tall doll Bam. yeah exactly <laughs> uh but demons and stuff mm -hmm. like that oh man leatherface maybe maybe yeah i think he'd definitely Ghost take face. I was going to say, he can definitely take Ghostface. Mm -hmm. um, he's more capable than Dewey. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he would be Dewey's boss. <laughs> He'd be Dewey's... I'll uh, tell you what. He's probably right here. Is where I'd put him. Yeah. Because he definitely can't take on the Cenobites. Like, no. Like she could. He would run. <laughs> he would run if he saw that. Yeah. He didn't. He, if he could run away from a shark, he would. <laughs> but he was on a boat. You know? Yeah. So that's where I, I would put him. But uh, next on our list, McCready from The <sighs> Thing. Personally, yes, A list or C or S S tier. C list? Oh, <laughs> I heard you say C list. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I said C. <laughs> brain fart right there. Mm -hmm. S tier. S tier. S tier. Mm -hmm. He's just a, he's such a badass. Like I mean, that opening scene when you first see him <laughs> with that big old hat. No, not even the 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 big before that when he's playing, playing chess computer. yeah when he's just playing chess with the computer and it beats him he's just like oh fuck it <laughs> pours his drink on top of it and, and he destroys the computer for yeah, everybody else yeah exactly <laughs> kind of like burning the entire building so no one survives yeah exactly <laughs> so, like you know he's that and you know he's technically not going to survive right but he take he he's willing to sacrifice himself to make sure this creature doesn't get out um kind of sacrifice childs too but we didn't know if he was a thing right but you know either way he burned down the the entire place for yeah. both of them yeah i He's mean like, that's hey that's, that's we're not gonna win so we're both going down yeah exactly we're we're taking the if the ship's going down we're going down with it and that's the only way to truly take this thing out mm -hmm. uh, can't take the chance and come on kurt russell yeah. Kurt Russell is a badass. Right. Um, great mustache. Great mustache. Great, great hair. Mm -hmm. He's had great hair in like every one of his movies. Well, not Santa Claus, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's S tier. S tier. S tier. Moving him up here. We'll figure that out later. And his uh, co star, Childs, is next on our list. Where do we put Childs? I'm putting now, Childs. Ju now, just to clarify, just because he's the partner doesn't exactly mean he's going to be in the same ranking. No. We did that for Gale and Dewey, 
but that's because they basically did the same amount of work yeah exactly mm-hmm. childs did not do the same amount of work right uh he was tied up mm-hmm. you couldn't trust him most of the movie you know um i'm gonna go c wow yeah that's racist <laughs> no he's going in b for <laughs> like um, for brave <laughs> for brave yeah <laughs> like no he's going c there we go now we have a, a pick from our our last review that we did the lost boys we have the Corys, cory feldman and cory heen they are sam and uh edgar frog see this one's a weird one because i was i was hoping we would do like the uh the brothers mm-hmm. the two sets of brothers four people sam sam and and michael uh-huh. and the frog brothers yeah because the frog brothers come on they're going they're lower than sam and michael okay and but, but um, michael did get turned into a vampire pretty quickly yeah he also got suckered into a lot of stuff he shouldn't have Peer and, pressure, sam, man. and sam is quite the coward yeah without uh, the frog brothers telling him what to do oh man so they they i mean but the frog brothers are kind of bumbling too they are they're just kids they were just kids <laughs> um more boys on this list mm-hmm. lost boys um oh, man so where would they go they when they put their minds together they did take out uh, a family of vampires some of those were happy accidents though but they were on the money for some of them yeah holy water um i mean they the did spikes they, they the rules yeah. you know well but they did mess up when they were trying to find out max yeah from max but they didn't know that michael had invited him in that's true and for the other rules on the other vampires it worked out they did go to the cave hideout in the morning took one of them out they did uh you know lure one of them to the bathroom to get you know to have the dog jump on them into the bathtub but that was an accident water. But they lured him to the bathroom because that's where the holy water was. Yeah. So I mean, they splash it in his face. <laughs> yeah. So Sam, I mean, Sam was pretty much the one that's kind of bumbling around. I mean, he did kill. He did kill that one vampire with a bow and arrow. Yeah. After he sprayed him with the the holy water with his yeah. gun, so he was he could take out one. I'm gonna. So go, they are capable. They're bumbling for a little bit, but they are capable. I'm gonna go with personally. They're capable and bumbling. So they came up with a okay. So (laughs) they came up with a perfect plan, Mm -hmm. but their their execution of the plan was like happy accidents. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because they're kids. So as far as kids, if we were going in the ranking of kids, we're not. (laughs) Are they better than Danny? Yeah, they're better than Danny. Mm -hmm. Are they better than Andy? Yeah. But are but Andy's in what B or A? Andy's an A. So Andy's an A. But we also took account Andy grew up and then he was yeah. killing off Chuckies. So would the the would the Corys be below Andy? Hmm. Not perfect. Say that again. <laughs> would the uh would the Corys be below Andy then? I think they would be below Andy. Okay. But they're on Andy's list. Okay. So they're A? Yeah. So now our next pick is actually from a movie that I haven't seen. Which one? Wrong Turn. With um, Jesse from Wrong Turn, played by Eliza Dushku. Oh, man. Um, I do remember there was a lot of uh, uh, focus on the monster because of the special effects on his face. Yeah. Which, I mean, like, it just looked like a regular rubber mask. It was 2002. Yeah. (laughs) I mean. I mean, we can't really say that because the thing... You know, it was in like the 80s. And, it and it's way still, better. yeah, way better. Yeah. Uh, man, there's not much I can say about her. Right. Um, very forgettable. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I just put her on this list so we can have more Ds. <laughs> <laughs> Double Ds. <laughs> there we go. And now we have Sarah from The Descent. Oh, man, she was a badass. What a character. She was a badass. Mm-hmm. I mean, she killed half her friends on accident. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> when she cut that rope. <laughs> yeah, she cut that rope when she accidentally stabbed her friend. Oh, yeah. Didn't tell anybody either. No. And then she killed her other friend on purpose because mm-hmm. she found out Yeah. Uh, that she was cheating. Her boyfriend was husband, boyfriend, someone boyfriend. was cheating on her. Um, 
but she also took out a bunch of those weird cave mole people yeah uh basically uh all for herself yep uh man but is she iconic like the rest of them i think she's if if this came out with like two two more movies and she was in them then she would have i'm gonna go with personally i would put her a yeah yeah i was gonna put her in like high c really yeah is it is she high c because she doesn't have that many movies no high c because uh she was pretty much out for herself which is not exactly where i would put a finalist like with high qualities you know that's like well, not one of them but you know looking at b you kind of have other people that are <laughs> like gail you know i mean she turns around but only because of dewey yeah this girl was just like oh i found out my friend was cheating on my boyfriend i'm gonna kill her yeah but if she had as many movies as gail she might turn around later mm, maybe uh, who can say because yeah. if gail was only in one movie she'd be so she'd be her, her skills in her badassery a mm -hmm. but as a as a finalist the qualities that you would look into look at for um she's definitely a c yeah so yeah i think H happy medium b i see i i, I think I see? I, yeah i okay. see i think the negatives outweigh the the positives because she i mean who who's to say one of her friends wasn't going to be the finalist until she killed them yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean she she murdered people uh i mean it's not exactly spoilers but there's deleted scenes where uh she does tell them that she that she killed her friend oh but then it's like she has flashbacks of uh her friend like you know trying to kill her and then it turns out she doesn't escape the cave because she regrets it so bad mm. not exactly finalist <laughs> no. after those deleted scenes but yeah in the original movie she makes it out okay so moving on to our next pick we have sarah from the craft i think this is our second sarah <sighs> sarah from the craft she was the only one in her group that really made the the coven a coven because yeah, she, was, she was the real witch yeah she was the only one that had natural powers and gifts mm. um everyone else kind of piggybacked off of her yeah um i mean technically she wasn't the only finalist because the other two girls lived also yeah and i mean she didn't kill um chris yeah yeah nancy did it yeah so oh, man she doesn't kill Nancy either. She doesn't kill Nancy either. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't go through much. It seems like she almost got raped. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> She got a, she got her home invaded Here, by that homeless guy. Okay, so I'm belittling her her achievements. <laughs> um, but she had magic powers. So it's like, how, how much danger can you really be in when you have magical abilities? It depends on how competent you are with those magic powers. Yeah. Because it looked like a lot of those uh, magic powers like required rituals. You had to like uh say out loud like what you're trying to put out into the universe yeah but towards the end when she like finally comes into her own and accepts her abilities and realizes that she's powerful it's kind of like a flick of the wrist you know what i mean when she was uh almost dying from nancy like yeah. trying to kill her it, it really was a fight or flight moment even though i hate that saying fight or flight <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah she she basically had those those powers when she was like about to die yeah so where would you put her? I would put her in C. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Uh, I was gonna say anything higher than that. I would. I would d d debate you on. Okay. But I, I agree with C. Great movie. Mm -hmm. It's a great movie. Oh yeah. But as a finalist. Right. And uh, another great movie, Get Out, with our character Ooh. Chris another one of those where it's really good mm -hmm. good movie man like was he capable yes yeah yeah he was able to figure out the cotton you know he was able to take out the brother um i mean i'm glad that the ending we got wasn't the jail ending yeah um but he's only in one movie yeah. that movie is pretty memorable would he survive a second movie if it's the same people yeah 
Probably. Would he survive in uh, Us, the other Jordan Peele movie? Ooh. Probably he has not. To fight himself? Probably not. A twisted version of himself? I don't think he would survive it. No. No. Okay. Um. Man. See, I think looking at this list, I would put him in B. Yeah. You think so? Yep. I mean, it's not a high B, but maybe like right there. Yeah. Okay. Next on our list is Maxine from X. Now you haven't seen the. X-Men. I haven't seen X, so you're gonna have to. You gotta have. You're gonna have to sell me on her. So you, you gotta sell her to me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Maxine. Okay. Doesn't have a lot of kills. No. She doesn't. I mean, considering that in the movie, the villains are. The villain is. Geriatrics. An old lady. <laughs> Geriatrics. Yeah. So if she just waited a little longer, they would have just died on their own. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot going on from Maxine. Great character, but a finalist by by chance. <laughs> finalist because of default. Yeah. No, not putting anything against the the character because M- Mia Goth was both. Yeah. <laughs> she was the villain and she was the the finalist. But um, I think looking at our list, I'd put her in D. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I not seeing the movie. I'm like, you're, it's a good your, movie. Your pitches. I'm like, okay. The movie's great. The movie's great, yeah. but as a finalist, eh, she, yeah. I think she got, she just got lucky. Yeah. Pearl is definitely a better movie. But moving on to another better movie is uh, Dead Alive with our hero, Lionel. Oh, my. Talk about another bumbling character. Yes. Um, But is he as smooth as Ash? No. No. He gets, yeah, I mean, he does get the girl at the end. Well, like halfway through the movie. Halfway through the movie. He gets the girl. <laughs> he keeps the girl. How about he, that? <laughs> yeah. He keeps her alive. That's which, one up on Ash. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he keeps the girl alive. So, yeah, he has one up on, on Ash. Um, personally, it's one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. But as a as a survivalist, yeah. man, where would we put him? I want to put him in... You know what? My bias wants to say S tier because I'm just biased and I love that movie. Yeah. But to to be honest, I was looking at the list and I was like, S, of course. But now that I'm looking at Mia from Evil Dead, he's probably like above her. Probably in a high B. Yeah. Only because he took out so many of them. I'm going to say low A. Low A. Yeah. Because okay. he, I mean... There was there was at least like sixty people in that house. Yeah, and that the the scene with the I mean, the idea to go into the shed and grab the lawnmower mm-hmm. and just strap that to your chest. I mean, that takes some strength. Mm-hmm. Lawnmowers are not light. Yeah, and he was slipping all over the floor with yeah. all that blood. You know. Um. And, and plus, he didn't get infected. Despite the whole town getting infected. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure he killed the whole population of that town. That small town. Yeah. And he saved his girlfriend. And he saved his girlfriend. Did he kill his mom? Yeah. Okay. She swallowed him up and then he stabbed his way through with that, like, um, necklace thing she gave him. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a high A. He might be bumbling and, and kind of a nerdy guy, but at the end. How about right here? At the end, he, he comes through and pulls through and, and. Above uh, Clarice or below Clarice? Ooh, below Clarice. Okay. Definitely above Andy. Now, someone who I think might be above Andy. No, not really. Uh, Danny from Midsummer. Was Danny ever in real danger? <laughs> <laughs> like, she's a finalist because she got lucky and got picked as the... The, the, uh, the queen. The queen. Mm-hmm. But out of all of her friends, she was kind of the most, like, respectful and kind of just, like... Because she was high. (laughs) Yeah, that and she was just going through shit. Yeah. So it's like... So what I think happened with that is, I think that the friend that took them all there... Yeah. I think he had called uh, Sweden, you know, and he's like, hey, I got another girl who we might be able to, to push in the right direction to be part of our group. Yeah. Because she had just recently been through something very traumatic. Exactly. So we'll take this whole group over here, sacrifice them when we bring them over, and Danny won't even, you know, like think about them after all the 
the love bombs that we throw around her. Yeah. So they basically made Danny the finalist and killed everybody else. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, this is another case where please do not take what we say about the character as like us hating the movie. Because mm-hmm. a lot of these, even if they're in D, are still good movies. Mm-hmm. We're talking about their capabilities. And like I said, she was never really in danger. I mean, the movie, the movie's S tier mm-hmm. for me. I love that movie. Yeah, great movie. But as a finalist, mm-hmm. I don't think she would fare well against a demon. Anything. Anything. <laughs> I mean, she was she was a depressed, like grieving mess. Mm-hmm. So, D. D. Unfortunately, like I said, I love the movie. Don't oh, yeah. don't come at me. Speaking of uh, great movies, we have it including all the kids oh so the group of kids mm-hmm. more children yep ah uh, i think these <laughs> you kids see, you say they're like ah oh, goddamn kids <laughs> damn it they can't they he would have gotten them. away with it if it wasn't for those <laughs> damn kids yeah uh oh man now, now these kids i w- the way they planned to defend themselves not even to defend themselves they go in to try and kill yeah it. they they're going in to hunt this thing down oh yeah um yeah, so, I mean, again, I'm gonna I'm, with with the Corys or I, higher than that. See, <sighs> see, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> see, here, here's the thing. Um, there's more of them. That's right. There's a group. Mm-hmm. But what's what's the bigger threat? Vampires or a uh, alien that feeds off of your feeds on children, but you know takes the shape of your worst fears. Mm-hmm. What's a bigger threat? Vampires. Really? Do you remember how they killed it? Bullying they were it? roasting him. Yeah, they bullied him. They roasted him so bad he shrunk down to a baby. <laughs> and they, <laughs> and they, that's stomp, how they killed him. And then they stomped him out. Yeah. You want uh, to talk about hurt having pe- s- <laughs> yeah. hurt people hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the second movie kind of loses the 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 metal the metaphor there, you know what I mean? Like even the original when it was just a giant spider was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're probably below the the Corys. Mhm. Um. Yeah, let's put them right over here. That's still high, but uh, another person that should be high is Sarah Connor from the Terminator. Oh. Now we're talking Terminator One. So we're not going that's Termin- the horror movie. Yeah, I was gonna say Terminator Two. She is very capable. Oh yeah, uh, she's she's trained. With Ripley, yeah, you know? she's <laughs> trained her. She's honed her body into mm-hmm. a uh, killing machine. Yeah. Um, Terminator 1, it's not the same story. No, no, no. She Mm -hmm. is, what, a waitress? Yeah. And she just happens to be the unlucky uh, person to birth the the future Jesus. Mm -hmm. Uh, She does, you know, run a lot. Yeah. She is following instructions pretty well. Yeah. She's not bumbling. She is kind of just holding the hand of someone that's in charge. And that kind of, you know, trains her a little bit. She only takes that turn at the end because she had someone holding her hand. Mm-hmm. Like if, if who's to say Kyle Reese didn't go back and save one of those other Sarah Connors that got killed, mm-hmm. um, you know. So Sarah Connor, as in the first Sarah Connor, yes, first Sarah Connor. She had help. Yeah, she had to have help because on, on her own she would have been done. Brian, no help, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, she's. Like, like well, think about said, what you're saying here. You're talking about Sarah Connor on the damn D list, possibly. <laughs> I'm Sarah s- Connor? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I'm saying Sarah Connor from Terminator One is C. That's right. Not not D mm-hmm. or not D. If we're talking Sarah Connor, Terminator Two, and yeah. so on and so on, S. Right. Well, we're going first. So she had to go through this ordeal yeah. to become that mm-hmm. later on. But she does later on. Later on. So did Andy. But, later on. Yeah. Andy but, from Child's Play. Yeah. And we put him high up there because of that. Damn. Now you're making me rethink Andy. Maybe Andy <laughs> needs to be lower. We can if you want. If we're doing just Andy from the Child's Play 1. Yeah, that's true. Because mm-hmm. <sighs> none of these other ones really come back. Okay. Well, if, if we're putting Sarah Connor as an S or as as a a C, then Andy has to be like a D, unfortunately. Sarah, we're going to put her right here. How's that? Yeah. And Andy, 
little buddy right there. Again, I, like the movie is S tier, but if we're going off for first movies, yeah, yeah, you know, Andy. If we're going to go on one movie for just one character and not their future movies, yeah. But then there's another character on the list that's on this that meet the same criteria, <laughs> yeah. and we're like, nope, just the first movie for them. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. So next on our list is another character that's had multiple movies, but I don't think changes that much, and that is, um, Jamie, Jamie from Halloween. Where we, what do we think about Jamie? Jamie has help, lots mm-hmm. of help. Yeah, Ryan, if, no help at all, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 if it wasn't for Loomis or like her, what was it, her adopted sister? No, mm-hmm. foster sister or something. Something. Yeah, foster sister. Yeah, like she would have been done. Mm-hmm. You know, she's, she's also a kid. kid. She's just a kid. Yeah, no powers, nothing. Run. Yeah, <laughs> just run. And I think this will be pretty quick. Yeah, she's she's a D. Yeah, <laughs> no reason to. to really you know what? It's her. funny because at first I thought we were gonna put a lot. We were gonna have a lot of S tiers. Hey, we have a lot. The we have a big. Uh, we how many do we have left? Three, six. We have a strong nine left. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be pretty high up there. Okay. So for our next list, we're not there yet. <laughs> so because our next list, we have Taylor from Behind the Mask. Taylor, we didn't even know was our final girl. No, till like the last thirty minutes. And and she had more or less an idea of what was gonna happen and go on. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's she's just. She's, she's the help. She, yeah, she's the help. Where other characters have no help, she is the help. Yeah. So she kind of set. She kind of helps set this whole thing in motion. Yeah. Like, but she also helps them like avoid certain things, even though they don't avoid. No. Them. You're like, he, <laughs> but she tells them about it. And I think if I can't remember, if I remember um, correctly. clearly, correctly, didn't her one of her cameramen also live? Yeah. Yeah. So she wasn't the only one. She just happened to be the one to take out the. But she helped him. But she helped him. Yeah. Um, you know, and she's her character's just like a love letter to final girls. Right. Um. But unfortunately, she's not that memorable. Right. And I don't think, I don't think Leslie Vernon was that big of a threat. Right. You know, he's not a Jason or a Michael level threat. Mm-hmm. Um. So, geez, man, I'm gonna have to go with D, maybe C. I was gonna put it in C. Yeah, right above. I mean, right below. No, above. Right above uh, Danny. How's that look? Yeah. Okay. Next on our list, we have Julie from I know you. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> you're laughing because of a conversation we had about Jennifer Love Hewitt <laughs> yeah I mean those <laughs> those breasts are definitely D's <laughs> wow uh, I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, I'm not the only one that's made that joke okay like <laughs> it's it's a definitely we, we, know. we everyone know everyone knows everyone knows if family guy made fun of it for, yeah. for like a i'm long just time stealing ago. a joke from yeah. family guy <laughs> um but jennifer love hewitt was the star of these movies all three of them she had three mm-hmm. she survived three three she's three but we're three. only going off the first one if we're gonna do that did we do that for the last two we did that for andy and sarah connor remember okay that's right because i thought we were going with uh, the other movies count but yeah just the first one yeah so the first one is basically the same as the rest of the three yeah which is weird because when we get to something later on you know they've been in multiple movies at different ages mm-hmm. are we gonna go what age the first one okay the yeah. first appearance of them well the first movie okay yeah uh so jennifer love hewitt Man, I can't. I don't remember that movie that well. So Jennifer Love Hewitt is being stalked by someone that she ran over. Well, was in the car with, and she ran over them. And uh, she has to try and figure out who it is while she's being chased, <laughs> as she's being like, as her friends are being murdered around her. Mm. I, I mean, I I remember the basic plot of it, and you know, the trailer and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I I don't remember that movie. Like, does she go through a lot? Not really. No. Like just her people, friends are dying around her. Yeah, her friends are dying She's around her. Stopped. But did the killer ever like, like Ghostface has multiple attempts on on 
on Sydney. Uh -huh. There's been multiple times where she had to like protect herself from Ghostface. But if this this one is just her, oh crap, another friend is dying. Better run. Better run. Mm -hmm. But she never comes across them until she is technically the last person mm -hmm. to be killed. Oh man, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go. Cause I can't remember a damn thing. I'm just gonna go D. D. I was gonna go D because <laughs> not a lot happens for her. No. I'll tell you who does go through a lot, and that is Aaron from Your Next. Oh man, she was a badass. Hell yeah. Like those <laughs> those bad guys made him <laughs> fucked up royally by messing with someone who was like a prepper. They broke into the wrong house. Yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> like her her boyfriend should have done a little more uh research on his girlfriend yeah before thinking of using her as as a patsy mm -hmm. uh oh man she she messes those guys up oh yeah she's also very smart to uh to out outwit them oh when, yeah when she's in the scenario of hey there's someone shooting at them with bows and arrows from the from the windows yeah so she pulls out the table <laughs> and walks by the windows with the table so she doesn't get shot yeah no, she is probably um, the I'm, most prepared, the most capable, like the out most capable. Out, you can probably stick her in mul multiple scenarios and mm -hmm. she might come out on top. Right. Because of her her prepper and and like doomsday prepper and uh, background. She's what a, she's what Sarah Connor would have. It would be in the future. Yeah. Right off the bat. But we didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. They didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But so, that's yeah. what we get in her first movie yeah from her first movie like i mean the movie the movie i would say is like it's a one-time b it's a one-time uh, watch it's a movie. b tier movie yeah but as a finalist like i said we're not going off the quality of the movie we're going off of the quality of the character and their their achievements and stuff uh s s yeah i was gonna put her in a really well is she more capable than Ripley? clarice is she more capable than clarice yeah yeah but I don't know if she's more capable than um, uh, Rip, uh, Ripley. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, low S or high A? I'm going to go high or er, low S. Low S. Yeah. I'll take that. I don't blame you. I take that deal. Would you take that deal? I, t I take that deal. <laughs> I don't blame you. Next on our list is grace from ready or not that that movie is a lot of luck a lot of luck but also a lot of revenge yeah <laughs> so like, when you're out for revenge you don't really care if it's kids yeah. <laughs> if it's parents if i mean it's i'll give it to her she took out she didn't give a fuck if no, those kids died yeah uh she got a few a few good punches in yeah she, <laughs> she punched the kid to save herself mm -hmm. um you know I mean, some of them accidentally killed themselves. Yeah. But that kind of takes away from her. But, oh, man. She was covered in blood before the bodies were exploding. Yeah. Th this uh, movie was covered a little bit in our uh, gory hole. If you want to look back at that, where you can actually see the bodies blow up. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but as a final girl, where I'm, would you put her? I would go B. B too. Yeah. Oh, where in B? Maybe Ooh. like... Maybe like right here. Yeah, middle, middle of the road. Yeah, because uh, Jaws, he kind of knew what he was getting into. And uh, Hellraiser, she kind of uh, just used her, her smarts. And this was a good space for her because it's kind of just luck and revenge. Yeah. The willingness. <laughs> yep. The willingness to kill. I'll tell you who doesn't have a willingness to kill. And that's her next pick, Laurie Strode. <sighs> Say it one more time. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> We're not talking about the movies. We're talking yeah, about the character. So now Bring it up again. You're, we're, if we're not talking about the movie... We're... I'm just joking. <laughs> and if we're going off the first one, mm -hmm. like, she was very capable. She came up with some good plans. You know? The knitting needles. Mm -hmm. Pretty much whatever she had at her disposal. Yeah. Um, and she went after a heavy hitter. Or right. uh, she, she was being pursued by a heavy hitter. You know? He's... He's just an entity. Relentless. Relentless, yeah. He's coming after you. Yeah. Anyone that gets in his way is getting killed. He's uh single-minded. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's focused. Mm -hmm. Um 
And she was able to defeat him multiple times. Yeah. Once. Yeah. The first movie. <laughs> S tier. S tier. Yeah. Easy. Movie's S tier. She's S tier. Up here? Yep. There we go. Now, another S tier. <laughs> yeah. Nancy, Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, man. That's, no. a neat, that's a simple one. She she killed Freddy. Come on. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, wh- wh- the thing about these final these finalists is that the ones that are S tier are the ones who figure out how to survive, and they're just dead set on doing it. Yeah, exactly. Laurie Strode, was she had to survive like all different kinds of scenarios against them. Same with Nancy. She when she finds out that it's only attacking him in his sleep, drink coffee. Like <laughs> that's the thing. Like at the same time, with these these the the S tier people, they went up against really tough mm-hmm. like bad guys yeah like they're tough out of all of them like i, I mean i don't want to go up against michael i don't want to go up against freddy i love sleep even though i don't get enough of it <laughs> like we we are talking about that but we also have to remember aaron went up against basically idiots but because she was so well prepared she's an s yeah another one who's very well prepared is sydney from goes from screen yep s tier s tier um i mean it, it i mean she's the only how many how many of the slashers get hit over the head with vases <laughs> like she she will use she's a scrapper she will use anything and everything that ain't tied down to the floor she's gonna use it to <laughs> knock across that's right ghost face to survive like she she's jumped out of windows she don't hesitate to do certain things oh, yeah. she got caller id she's she the got, only character on this list to get caller id yeah <laughs> So yeah, she don't S-tier, care. For S-tier. sure. Now we have Alice from Friday the Thirteenth, one of the the earlier final uh, finalists. You know, considering the slashers that came before it weren't exactly a part of a series. Yeah, this one was. I mean, she went up against an old lady. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, you know what? She didn't technically make it because Jason drowned her. Right? Oh, that was a dream. That was a dream. Yeah, that was a dream. That was a dream. Um, um, I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see. That's what I was gonna say too. Probably like right here. Yeah, her threat wasn't that big. That wasn't. You know whose threat was big? Yeah, that was Tommy Jarvis. Oh, Tommy Jarvis. Oh man. But are we going kid Tommy Jarvis? Or are we going? We're going adult Tommy Jarvis. His his is exempt from that role because he wasn't in the first. He was like in the, like the third. Yeah, and he, then he came back. <laughs> later he's on. in like the third, the fifth, and the sixth. Sixth, yeah. So we're going with adult. Or no, he Tommy was Jarvis. what third, fourth, fifth, or wherever he's an adult. Okay, <laughs> Tommy Jarvis. I mean, he he had a vendetta against oh, Jason. <laughs> yeah, but he also brought him back. If he would have just left him in the grave, uh, he really <laughs> wanted to make sure he was dead. But he really messed up on that one. Yeah, I um, would have thought lightning would have came down and strike that pole <laughs> that he impaled him with a lightning rod. Yeah, lightning rod. Um, but I mean, he went face to face with him. Like he got right up in his face and was able to sink yes, him into did. the water. Yes, he um, did. So you know. A? I'm going to A. No. Maybe right here? Yeah. Let's recap this list, because that's everybody. S tier. We have Laurie Strode. Great pick. Great pick. Oh, you know what? Do you want to rearrange any anyone before we do this? Um. How about let's go through the list? Because I forget who, who's in what. Um, well, I mean, I think the the other ones we rearranged pretty good. We just didn't rearrange S because S tiers were the the top ones. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Like Laurie Strode, number is first. Nancy, second. Sydney, third. Ash, fourth. Ripley, fifth. Um, McGrady, sixth. And Taylor, no, not Taylor. Um, Aaron, seventh. I think I like the the order it's in. I don't yeah. think I would change anything. I mean, as much as I like, uh, Nancy, Sydney, Nancy and Sydney, I might switch them. Who do you think is more capable? Sydney. You think so? Only because. Um, do you think Sydney could take out a dream demon? Yes. 
Do you think Nancy could figure out who was murdering her friends that didn't show up in her dreams and say, I'm murdering your friends? So what you're saying is Nancy is a dumbass. <laughs> no. <laughs> that she does not have the de deductive skills to de figure out the who done it. It's definitely not important. But for when I was thinking about it, I was like, if we didn't know who Freddy Krueger was and he wasn't showing up in your dreams, how would we find out how to stop him? Mm. But that's only that scenario. Sydney versus Nancy. Mm. Do you think it's good how it is? I think it's good that how it is. Okay. I think a dream demon is a bigger threat. Bigger threat, yes. We're, now we're going to the A tier. This we one have. is a little more tough because this one, I, I, we could interchange them. Yeah. A, a tier list, we have Clarice. We have Lionel. We got Tommy. We have the Corys. We have the kids from It. And we have sally from texas chainsaw massacre because of her training and everything clary's just top yeah i wouldn't move her mm -hmm. um as far as who's net like i would kind of flip i would put sally higher mm -hmm. no no vampires are a bigger threat they were children yeah and they killed them successfully killed them all um i think this is good i think it's yeah i wouldn't move a single person going down to the b tier we have mia from the evil dead we have andy sorry ashley from hellraiser we have grace from ready or not mm -hmm. we have brody from jaws we have Dewey and Gale from Scream. And then we have Chris from Get Out. Uh, wow. If I'm going to move anybody, I'd probably move Brody a little higher. Yeah. To be honest. um, He put himself out in that danger. Mm -hmm. uh, his danger was a little bit more uh, a, a credible, like, danger. You know what I mean? It was a giant fucking shark trying to eat you yeah exactly and the boat yeah um you know higher than uh grace a family trying to kill you yeah because the family are, were idiots yeah but it was a manhunt like you don't have any weapons like brody did yeah they all had weapons even though she did kill them <laughs> regardless of them having weapons and some of them just killed themselves on yeah. accident like even if they had weapons, most of them weren't even trained with the weapons. Yeah, they couldn't. Some of them <laughs> couldn't, couldn't even, use the guns. <laughs> yeah, couldn't figure out how to use some of them. So, yeah, I'm gonna go. Brody's higher than Grace. Bam, right there. Um, and I'm gonna say, I hate to say it, but I think uh, Chris Washington is probably more capable than the Gales. There we go. I was a little surprised when you put when you want to put Dewey and Gale in the list with sydney yeah because it's you know three people from the series yeah and everyone else yeah i mean we do have the friday the 13th characters on here but that's just two yeah we have the thing characters but that's just two but those three are the final three so yeah but we're we're talking about the first movie yeah they are the final three in the first movie but they don't exactly work together no. that well no. in the first one they, they hate each other <laughs> actually yeah. in the uh, first one Moving down to tier C, and we have Sarah from The Craft. We have Sarah from, <laughs> we have this Sarah. Sarah from The Descent. Is her name really Sarah? Yes. Did we put Sarah, all the Sarahs in one line? Oh no, do we have something against Sarahs? Oh man. Sorry, just... Sarah. <laughs> we have Childs from The Thing. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Connor from Terminator 1. We have Taylor from Behind the Mask. We have Alice from Friday the 13th. And Danny from The Shining. I hate to say it. But <laughs> you, you, you hate to say it a lot. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think 
Sarah might have to go a little bit further down. Why would you say Sarah when there's three Sarahs Sarah Connor. on this tier list? Sarah Connor might mm -hmm. have to go down a little bit more. Okay. Because she had help from... <laughs> Brian, no help. <laughs> Kyle <laughs> Reese. <laughs> like, she got lucky that Kyle Reese showed up. Like, come on. Right there? Sarah Connor, do you, how, do you think she would, how do you think she would uh, fare against a different threat? She was just a waitress. There was nothing special. Well, but then again, you can say that about any of these people. Like, most of them weren't, were just high school, like, a lot of them are high school kids, you know? But they figure it out. But they figure it out. They're capable. I, I, I mean, I'm Nancy read a book on home, and, on like, home traps. Yeah. And she caught Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Who knows what Sarah could have done? We don't know because we're only talking about the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, we do know what she does. She's yeah. capable of, but. Uh, Sarah Connor T2 S tier. Yeah. But Sarah Connor T1? No. No. At our D list, we have Jess from Black Christmas. We have. I'm just going to call her Eliza Dushku. Eliza Dushku from Wrong Turn. We have Maxine from X. Danny from Midsummer. Andy from Child's Play. Jamie from Halloween and Jennifer Love Hewitt from I Know What You Did Last Summer. Mm. I don't really care about this list. The bottom tier list. We can move anybody. I was going to say, some of them getting. I. Man, this one. If it was me, who's put the... Danny right here. <laughs> Only because I like Danny's character. I love Danny's character, but yeah, mm -hmm. she had it the easiest. Yeah. Um. I mean, Andy went through a lot. <laughs> That's how much he went through. Yeah, <laughs> a living doll with the with the soul of possessed murderer. Yeah, was tr killing everyone around you. Oh man, but Jamie also went off uh, up against uh, Michael. Dude, she had help. Yeah, she had a ton of help. <laughs> <laughs> she also had help, but you know, run pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna say Mia Goth is probably right more. Here? No, I was gonna say Danny is bottom because. Her life wasn't really ever in in like mortal danger, right? So, yeah, that's. I hate to say it, I think that's my new catchphrase. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, Danny is the bottom of the bottom, but only because she wasn't in danger. That's right. But great movie, great character, and a great tier list because this tier list looks pretty good. Considering it's the the finals, I mean, the, we all know who the S tiers are going to be, you know, right from the bat, and um, and you know what? If if any of you guys have any kind of scruples or want to berate us, please go after Murderface. Yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably have a good chat about it. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, this this tier list is definitely not, again, not uh, on the quality of the movies but on the quality of the characters. Look, all these movies are great. Some of the D-list tier finalists had S-tier movies. Yeah. And a lot of those S-tier finalists had terrible movies. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll get into that on a different list. And uh, Brian, you want to sign us off? Yeah. Um, that was our episode for tonight. Um, thanks for tuning in to another episode of uh, uh, Monsters, Movies, and Mayhem. Mayhem. <laughs> uh, we were your hosts brian final man mm -hmm. hidalgo and murderface monsters movies and mayhem